كلا بل يحبون العاجلة ويذرون الآخرة وجوه يومئذ ناظرة إلى ربها ناظرة ووجوه يومئذ باسرة تظن أن يفعل بها فاكرة كلا إذا بلغت التراقي وقيل من راق وقيل من راق وظن أنه الفراق والتفت الساق للساق إلى ربك إلى ربك يومئذ المساق فلا صدق ولا صلى ولكن كذب وتولى ثم ذهب إلى أهله يتمطى أولى لك فأولى ثم أولى لك فأولى أيحسب الإنسان أن يترك سدى ألم يكن طفة من تمنى ثم كان علقة فخلق فسوى فجعل منه الزوجين الذكر والأنثى أليس ذلك بقادر أليس ذلك بقادر على أن يحيي الموتى الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك وما كان معه من إله المستحق لجميع أنواع العبادة ولذا قضوا ألا نعبد إلا إياه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في أرضه وسمائه وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوه وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد هو الحي My brother Allah is الحي the everlasting هو الحي Allah is الحي the deathless Allah هو الحي لا إله إلا هو He is الحي لا إله إلا هو There is no God but He لا إله إلا هو There is no deity worthy of worship except Him لا إله إلا هو There is no true provider except Him لا إله إلا هو There is no sustainer but him فدعوه So worship him فدعوه مخلصين له الدين Worship him alone and be sincere in that Everything belongs to him الحمد لله رب العالمين. All thanks are due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. So, my dear brother, say, يا حي يا قيوم بلغنا رمضان. Ask 
him to make us rich Ramadan. He is one and he is able. He is al hayy the deathless, and he absolutely deserves to be worshipped alone, Allah. And I bear witness, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is Allah's last and final messenger, the seal of, of prophethood, the road and the way to Allah. وَإِن تُطِيعُوهُ تَهْتَدُوا If you follow him, if you obey him, if you follow his footsteps, if you follow his teachings, if you follow his commandments, you, 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 you will be guided. May Allah guide us all. My brother, what are you seeking for the day of judgment? What is your goal? Where do you want to be the day of Zalzala? The day of Iza Zulzilatil Aw. Zilzala. Where do you want to be on that day? Where do you want to be the day of judgment? Where do you want your destination to be? The day of intense regrets. Where do you want to be on that day? I know my dear brother and I know my dear sister without doubt our answer to that question is we want the forgiveness from our Lord on that day and I know your answer is we want forgiveness from our Lord and we want Jannah this is your answer and I know this is your answer this is our answer this is what we want forgiveness from our Lord and Jannah my dear brother, congratulations. If this is your goal, congratulations, good tidings, glad tidings, because Ramadan is days away and forgiveness of Allah is calling and Jannah is calling. You can feel the air, the atmosphere. You can feel Ramadan very close by the door. It is closed and forgiveness is calling and Jannah is calling. And hasten and hasten in race and be quick in competition to compete to a forgiveness towards a forgiveness from your Lord hasten be quick in race towards the forgiveness from your Lord in heaven Wajannah in paradise Wajannah in gardens Wajannah in in heaven as vast as the heaven and the earth Ya Allah who is this for Ya Allah prepared for those who guard against evil or oh, it that's little prepared for the righteous or oh, it that's little prepared for the pious or oh, it that's little prepared for those who are mindful of Allah or oh, it that's little prepared for those who have God fearing or oh, it that's little or oh, it that's little prepared for those who do good for those who guard against evil hold that for me hold that ayah surah al imran let's go back to surah al-baqarah ya ayyuhalladhina amanu oh you who believe kutiba alaykum siyam fasting is prescribed to you for you 
كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم as it was prescribed for those who came before you لعلكم تتقون so that you may be God fearing so that you may be pious so that you may be righteous so that you may be mindful of Allah so that you will be good people so that you will guard against evil and Allah is calling also telling us that wasari'u and compete wasari'u and hasten wasari'u hasten in race ila maghfira to a forgiveness mir rabbikum from your lord wa jannah and heaven uiddat lil muttaqin prepared for those who will have what ramadan is bringing for those who will have at taqwa for those who will be god fearing jannah is prepared for you so brothers and sisters in faith heaven forgiveness heaven is calling us so come and let's get ready to compete because in Ramadan, قال رسول الله صلوا عليه اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه whoever fasts Ramadan إيمانا with faith واحتسابا and seeking each reward from Allah غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه his previous sins will be forgiven وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ Now you get it? Allah said race, race, compete with one another towards forgiveness. And Ramadan will have all your previous sins forgiven. إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ وَجَنَّةٍ In heaven, go back again to Rasulullah. قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ إِذَا جَاءَ رَمَضَانٍ فتحت أبواب الجنة. When Ramadan comes, the gates of heaven are open. So, brother, heaven is calling. Heaven, forgiveness of Allah is calling us. Heaven is calling us. إذا جاء رمضان، when Ramadan comes, فتحت أبواب الجنة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, when Ramadan comes, the gates of heaven will be open. وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَحِيمِ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ جَهَنَّمَ And the doors, the gates of hellfire will be locked, will be closed. وَسُلْسِلَتِ الشَّيَاطِينِ And the devils, evil devils will be chained. Brother, why are they chained? To give you the chance to raise, to compete, to earn forgiveness from your Lord and Jannah. And Jannah. And Jannah. So, my dear brother and my dear sister, let's get ready to compete. Ramadan is days away. Brothers and sisters in faith, get ready. Compete with one another for forgiveness and Jannah. We all know and believe that the prophets are the most high ranked among the humankind. We all believe that. They are, the prophets are, the most high ranked among the, the humankind. They are the best. They are the best because Allah specifically chose them to come and lead us out of darkness to light. They have been given the guarantee. They have been given the assurance of entering Jannah. But with all that, if you quickly go to Surah Al-Anbiya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned Allah mentioned to us in Surah Al-Anbiya 15 prophets. He started with وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى وَهَارُونَ الْفُرْقَانِ وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رُشْدَهُ وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبُ He mentioned again وَلُوطًا آتَيْنَاهُ حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا He mentioned again وَنُوحًا إِذْ مَا دَا مِنْ قَبْلٍ He mentioned again وَدَاوُدَ وَسُلَيْمَانِ He mentioned again وَأَيُّوبَ إِذْ مَا دَا رَبَّهُ وَإِسْمَائِيلَ وَإِدْرِيسَ وَذَا الْكِفْلِ وَذَا النُّونِ وَزَكَرِيَّ إِذْ مَا دَا رَبَّهُ That's the 13. That's the 14. وَزَكَرِيَّ إِذْ مَا دَا رَبَّهُ 
What did he say? Rabbi la tathawmi fawdaw wa anta khayrul warifin That's the 14, the 15 Fastajabna la wa wahabna lahu yahya 15 Prophets and Allah described them, listen Innahu kanu yusari'u those high rank prophets that we know they have the assurance to enter Jannah, Allah said, Innahum kanu yusari'una fil khayrat. They used to raise, they used to hasten, competing for goodness. If these special people are racing for forgiveness, are racing for goodness, are racing for Jannah, what do you think we should do? I think we should fly. I think we should be flying for Jannah. So brothers and sisters in faith, get ready. Ramadan is coming. Let's compete. Let's move. Why? Because we don't know. We don't know. Because we don't know. Three days ago we lost Imam Sise. Imam Sise was expecting Ramadan. May Allah grant him Jannah. May Allah grant him Jannah. Imam Sise was expecting Ramadan. He knew that he was going to fast Ramadan. But subhanAllah, he prayed Maghrib with people, getting ready to pray Isha, Allah took him. Uh, let's get ready, brothers. Let's get ready, because who knows? Let's prepare ourselves. Let's get ready to compete with one another. Let's get ready to compete for Jannah. To compete for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's get ready to do that. Because you never know. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. What's going to happen? So what is happening or what had happened. What is happening should be a wake up call for all of us. To tighten our belts. Our seat belts. Our belts. To work harder and harder and harder. Because we never know. And if you do. Brothers and sisters in faith. Heaven is for you. Jannah is for you. Allah will grant you that. وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ And heaven. Brothers and sisters in faith. The day of judgment. If you work hard for Jannah, you will be called. You will be called and you will be special. Look at this. Surah Al-A'raf. وَنُودُوا أَنْ تِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةِ And a voice will call out أَنْ تِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةِ This is the heaven وُرِفْتُمُهَا Which you have inherited بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ For what you used to do. For your action. For the action you did in the world. So this is heaven. Waiting for you because you have inherited the heaven because of your action. Because of what you did in the world. So get ready to do. Get ready to work. To do. To work harder and harder. Because Ramadan is coming and Jannah is calling. Go to the Nahl. Al-Ladhina tatawafahumul malaika Tayyibin Yaquluna salamun alaykum The day of judgment. The angels will be calling you. Peace be upon you. Ya Allah. Allahumma ja'alna minhum ya Rabb. Ya Allah. Make us among those. The angels will be calling. The salamun alaykum. Look. While people are are suffering why others are suffering scared on that day that everybody is terrified you alaykum peace be upon you Enter paradise. 
Enter. It's yours. You earn it. Allah gave it to you. Allah granted you Jannah. Allah accepted your deeds. So get ready to work. Why are, you, are they entering Jannah? Bima kuntum ta'amalun For what you used to do. Go to Surah to search them. فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ قُرَّةِ عَيْمٍ No soul knows what it's kept hidden for them. No soul knows that. Why? جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ A reward for what they used to do. Subhanallah. Allah's commodity is precious, brothers. It's expensive. Allah's commodity is precious. Allah's commodity is Jannah and it's waiting for you. It's prepared for you. My dear brothers and sisters in faith, you will be pampered in Jannah. You know that? Yeah, Allah. Wallahi, we will be pampered in Jannah. You will be like kings and queens. You will be driven to Jannah. Like kings and queens, brothers and sisters in faith. Quickly, let's go to Surah 2. Sad. This is just a reminder. وَإِنَّ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ لَحُسْنَ مَآبٍ Ya Allah. What is Ramadan bringing? At-taqwa. Being mindful of Allah. Piousness. Righteousness. God-fearing. And if you have that, هَذَا وَإِنَّ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ لَحُسْنَ مَآبٍ this is just a reminder but for the righteous for those who guard against evil for those who have God fearing for those who will make sure they earn what Ramadan is bringing which is a taqwa shall have a good return you will have a good place the day of judgment اللهم ارخلنا الجنة يا رب جنات عدن مفتحة لهم الأبواب heaven heaven of perpetual bliss مفتحة مفتحة لهم الأبواب open widely for them Ya Allah Muttakina fiha Brothers and sisters, Wallahi, Jannah is sweet Jannah will be good, let's work hard Let's ask Allah for Jannah Muttakina fiha They will be reclining in it In Jannah Say Amin We will be reclining in Jannah Muttakina fiha Relaxing in Jannah just imagine. Hey, brothers and sisters, in it, you will be called in it to, to sweet fruits and drinks. Sweet fruits and drink. Just imagine. You, the day you say, you know what? I want to enjoy myself today. You know, having a glass of maybe your apple juice next to you. Reclining on your couch. Maybe you have that remote, you know, going up and down, you know, changing the channels, sipping your apple juice. How does it feel? Uh, this is Jannah. Reclining in Jannah, you have your sweet fruits. And remember, no diabetes over there. No. No diabetes. You enjoy as much as you can. 
eat the sweet fruits or whatever. No sickness. <laughs> and you're not going to use the bathroom. Eat. Enjoy. You know, the wives of Jannah, well matched. And when they look at you, Allah. Yeah, Allah. I see a brother smiling. Inshallah, you will get that. Allahumma ameen. This is what you were promised for the day of accountability. So work and you will be promised that inshallah the day of judgment. Listen to Allah. Listen to the majesty. Talking, whatever you have will finish. Will finish. Whatever you have will end, will go, will fade away. But Allah, the Majesty, Al Mutakabir, Al Kareem, Al Kawiyu. He said this. Indeed, this is our provision. Listen. It has no end. All the enjoyment has no end. It is an everlasting abode. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Rasulillah. My dear brothers and sisters in faith, I know you are happy. I know you are happy because Ramadan is coming and I know you are happy you are getting ready to compete. Let's compete. Let's get ready to make sure we do what will benefit us this dunya and akhirah. Allahumma ballighna Ramadan. Ya Allah, make us rich Ramadan. Ya Allah, make us rich Ramadan. Ya Allah, we know you can take us at any time. Any time. But Ya Allah, you are al-hayyu. We want to see Ramadan, Ya Allah. Give us long life to see Ramadan. Make us rich Ramadan, Ya Allah. It's few days away. But Ya Allah, we don't know what will happen the next hour. Only you know. We don't know. Because in Allah Inda wa ilmu sa'a wa yunazil ghaitha wa ya'lamu ma fil arham wa ma tadri nafsun ma dha taksibu ghada wa ma tadri nafsun bi ayyi ardin tamut. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't know what will happen after Jumu'ah. Ya Allah, we pray that you are al-hayy. The everlasting. Ya Allah, make us rich Ramadan, Ya Rabb. Ya Allah, make us rich Ramadan. Not only this Ramadan, and more Ramadan, Ya Rabb. Allah, heal us all, Ya Allah. Heal the sick among us, Ya Allah. Those who are looking for job, Ya Allah, we pray that you give them good job, Ya Allah. Brothers and sisters in faith, may Allah forgive our mothers and fathers, Ya Allah. Don't forget to pray for your mother. Don't forget to pray for your father. Don't forget to prepare them for Ramadan. Do your best. Allah will continue to bless you. And inshallah. On behalf of our dear Imam, Imam Muhammad Silla, we are inviting everybody, inshallah, tomorrow for our Quranic graduation, inshallah. Some of them memorize the Quran. Some of them memorize parts of Quran. So please come and witness that tomorrow at 2 o'clock. We will begin, inshallah, right after the whole prayer. We ask him for dua for us and for the students. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it successful. May Allah make things easy for us. Brothers and sisters, before we pray, Ramadan is only a few days away and many have not given their pledge yet or have not even pledged yet. Please help yourself by donating for iftar so that people will have what to break fast with, with your sweat, with what you worked for, and Allah will continue to bless you. So please, Brother Mutawakil is there, Brother Yusuf is downstairs, Bakamara is downstairs, we have Brother Ture downstairs. Please, after prayer, give them what you have for iftar. If you give them, tell them this is for iftar. Or please write my name for iftar. I will give 1,000, I will give 500, I will give 300, I will give even dollar. Give it with good intention. May Allah accept.
and don't forget to say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad as much as you can. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama salli ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala Ali Sayyidina Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama barik ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala Ali Sayyidina Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid wa kumu ila salatikum ilhamkum.